Top Spotlight, brought to you by Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. Hey everyone, I'm Adam Harry from Bell of Lost Souls with... Evan from Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. And we're back with another Tabletop Spotlight. Evan! Yes? I happen to be a fan of uh, going to fancy art galleries and yes. stuff. Yes, yes. What is this? What is this space? This game? is Modern Art. Ooh. It is a auctioning game where yeah. you and your other competitive players are auctioning to get the most in, uh, valuable artwork. Okay. Basically. Auction game. So yes. how does that work? I'm glad you asked. Yeah. There are actually several different auctions that you can do throughout this game. There's a real-time oh. auction where people are calling out numbers, a secret auction, a fixed price auction, and then the round auction. We'll go over Ooh. that inside the box. But there's a lot of variety and it keeps it fresh. Okay, cool. That actually sounds uh, kind of like a lot of fun. I, yeah. I, I like this secret kind of mm. open auction, secret auction type and changing it up. As you'll find out, it's, it takes off actual artwork. Um, okay. So it's it's a beautiful game. It's real artists. Uh, yeah, there's okay. five artists, I think, uh, represented in this game that we'll find out. So. Awesome, cool. Well, let's take a look inside Modern Art. Here we go, Evan. It is Modern Art time. This is me on Mondays. Yeah, that's me on every day. At least I dressed up for it. Yep. I like your bow tie. <laughs> Thank it's you. Good. It's a good look for yeah. you. I like the glasses, too. Thanks. I'm trying to cut the pipe, though. Yeah, cut that down. <laughs> Funny looking at All right, flip it over real quick. Yes. Let's look at the back of the box. This is a game of collecting modern art. Yes. Um, it is a auctioning game. Um, yeah. Which we've already talked about. So let's, uh, let's yeah. just dive in, man, because that's the back of the box. Let me try to help out with the side here. Whoa. Oh, almost, oh. Whoop. Whoop. You got it. It's slippery. It I is a you. nice quality box. Yeah, that's, that's that high gloss. Is yeah. Keeping it from sweating. Roll right. book. We'll go over that later. Yep. Let's start with the punch outs. Yes. Uh, so these are the monies. Uh, it's cool because they don't have like you know paper money or card money. It's it's cardboard little yeah. monies. I like it. Um, and so those and are all punch outs. there is a European version that has euros instead of dollars, which I think is interesting. Hmm. Um, but there's a gavel for the uh, these are front and auctioner. Back. Uh, yeah, and then these are the points that go on the board, which we'll see in a second. So, okay. Yeah. More monies. More monies. More monies. More monies. You can bet, I'll buy that for a dollar. <laughs> How many times are you going to hear that uh, during the game? Quite often. Quite often. <laughs> Modern art. This is the basic board of the game. Um, yeah. So, it's different artists in a row. Okay. And it's determined by the turn. So, this is like first turn, or first round. There's four rounds. Gotcha. And whoever has the most, wh whichever artist has the most cards out, Gets the top prize, so okay. you put the thirty point here. Whoever has the second most twenty into the oh, ten, um, and then yeah. players at the end of the game uh, will count out their scores depending on how much uh, fame each artist has. Sounds good. Yeah, and then this is for the auctioneer, I'm guessing. Or... These are for everyone. Each oh. person gets their own little Madrid. thing. Oh, these are the different. Um, yeah, these are based okay, off of the actual okay. uh, art London Art galleries, Museum, yeah. Madrid Modern, Paris, Paris Art, uh, Sao Paulo. Paulo. I've been to the New York. New York. Uh, yeah, there you the go. MoMA. That's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, yeah, I like these. These are, and then front and back. Yeah, the same same thing same on each side. Okay. Uh, but they're just like you know secret, so you can see yeah, you yeah. can't see how many like how much money each player has. Or or like what their collection. Is. Exactly. I guess you probably yeah. Can see that, but. Uh, baggies. Yeah, we always appreciate extra baggies. That's quite a few, which is yeah. nice. And then it's just the cards. Yeah. These are probably the highlight of the game because they're actual artwork. Yeah. From the artists that are uh, featured in this game. Yeah. So uh, I'm gonna open this up if you wanna. Yeah, yeah. Let me just clean this stuff up real fast. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna check the the inside of the box. We usually do this. There's nothing else in there, just to make sure. Every now and then they like to sneak, yeah. maybe you know, secret cards. We've or seen it before. We've seen it happen. We've seen it happen. Okay. Um, yeah. It's pretty cool. Let me move this out of the way too. If you wanna put those down. So. Here's the one we saw at the top. Now, there are, I think, four different auction types. Okay. There is this one, which is a fixed price. So whoever is the auctioneur is gonna put this out and says, I'm gonna sell this for, let's say, $10. Uh, and then- 10 modern art The bucks. first person to offer $10 gets the, pri uh, gets the art let's piece. Let's do it like this. Yeah. So, if, boom. Yeah. But that's the same one. Keep going. There's more fixed prices. Now, that this one, one. Oh, that's different. I haven't seen that one yet. We might have to go through the rule book for some of these. Um, well, what about this one? Keep going. <laughs> Keep going. So these are all the same artists I've noticed yeah. too. There uh, are different, like there's secret auction I know. I think that's the secret auction, the, the lock, uh, where people are gonna have a bet in their hand secret, okay. and then everyone's gonna flip it over at the same time, whoever has the most money in but the But that's bet. basically how you know the type of auction. Yes, it's gonna be the that's icon, the and then obviously the artist name yes. here. And so. it actually says the the name of the art piece, which is really cool. And there are, yeah. there, there are big cars in full art, so I mean, yeah. it's like this nice. one's dirty suburbs. So yeah. if you're into modern art, or if you want to learn about it, the, you actually can see the artist name, the actual name of the art piece. These are all actual art pieces. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
obviously shrunken down for board game, but <laughs> yeah, uh, there's another couple of cool ones here. But yeah, these are all crazy modern art. Not crazy, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Just different styles. It's really cool though that they, yeah, they yeah. are able to get the full pieces and into the cards and stuff like that. Yeah. So some famous ones in here too. So. Oh yeah. Very cool. Uh let's uh let's just yeah. hop in the rule book wow. so we can see what each each auction is like. Yeah. So yeah. go ahead and cut real fast and, and we'll do that. There's a lot of I just want to look at the art. So we're gonna cut while I do that and then yeah. Okay, so here we have the rule book for modern yes. arts. Mm -hmm. Uh and Evan, why do you think this book's so big? Like what's Oh, I wonder. It's because they actually go over the artists in the Boom. back. Um so you also might, I, oh, these are the artists. Okay, yeah, these are the artists that are featured in the game. Now there is a European version of this game that has different artists and has euros as, mm -hmm. instead of dollars, and they go over different artists. But this is the American version that has artists. Not, they're not necessarily American, but yeah, uh, it does have a backstory. Some of the, uh, highlighting all the art pieces that are in the game. Uh, yeah, it's really cool. Very nice quality. They didn't have yeah. to do this. They did it. No, no, but this kind of shows you kind of the, the full spread for all the artists. And I just wanted to show this off. This game is like fun, but you also learn a lot. Yeah. So, and you can be cool. It's one of those, yeah, yeah, fun educational games. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, um, that's the art book part of this. Yeah. I just wanted to show that off real quick. The Look, actual rules are super simple. This, this is the rules. Uh, yeah. Um, so we did find out what the five different types of auctions are. Yeah, let's go over those real fast. Yes, the hidden auction, we, we were right. Everyone puts in the money in a secret and whoever flips over and has the most money gets that painting. There is the open auction, which is just everyone calling out numbers and high, you know, bidding higher. Yeah, like a typical auctioneer. Yeah, yeah there is a one a offer auction. That's when, uh, starting with the auctioneer, it goes in a circle. People no, they go, auctioneer goes last, but yeah, yeah, they point. Go in a circle um, and you bid or pass and it just builds up throughout the circle. Okay. Then there's the fixed price auction. That's but this is the one offer, which is basically... Yeah. Yeah, so like the auctioneer says, okay, Evan, you start. Right. Evan, you start the bidding and you say, I bid 10 bucks. Right. You go to the next player, they have the option to bid more or to Right, pass. it just keeps going. You keep going until... Comes back but you only yeah. get one shot. Like that's Right, it. yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's why it's the one. one auction. Um, fixed price, of course, is I'm selling this for this amount of money, who wants it? And then double auction. What is this one? Ooh. Two different. Oh, this is. Uh, so if you get this one, uh, they may choose. You choose you, type, so what it happens is you put you put a painting down that has this symbol, and then you also get another painting down, Ooh. and whatever symbol is on the second painting, you do that auction. But you, the auction's for two paintings. So. Oh, yeah, that's what that one is. Double down. Uh, yeah, exactly. So that, that's pretty valuable. The goal um, of the game uh, is just to collect the most, and then we saw we get the points. So yeah, um, yeah, yeah. The yeah. more one's artist work is purchased, the more valuable it becomes. The winner is the player who has the most money at the end of the four rounds. So the value of your of yeah. Your art. So it's gonna be the money you have at the end plus the value of the art you have available. Yeah. And like you like you just said, the more art, the more an artist has paintings sold, right? Uh, the more valuable your paintings become of that artist. So if uh, Daniel here, if you had like, so you know, fifty of his yeah, well, not fifty, but if you went through his whole deck somehow. <laughs> just yeah. they were all worth all Daniel Heinlein. It'd be super expensive. Yeah. Well, like earlier, so it's by round. So in his first round, if Daniel had the most artwork sold, we put the thirty token on there. Yeah. That means all of his paintings are worth thirty, and then you keep playing until yeah, four yeah. rounds, and you add up all those, and each one of those artworks are worth that. So it all adds up. Yeah, it definitely adds up. And you can kind of <laughs> screw over other people if you see that. Like I see that you're really. Uh, collecting Raymond Marti uh, Martin's, Ramon. Uh, sorry, Ramon uh, Martin's, I, don't actually know. Uh, I can say, okay, I'm going to start selling this and make sure that you don't get any more of that. And so, yeah, yeah. So. If, yeah, if auctioneer, so, yeah. Um, that's pretty yeah, much that's, it. That's the end of the game. Uh, How to win the game, selling, you can sell auctions to the bank, yeah. thing like that, so. Um, but that's the core mechanic of the game. It's just it revolves around the auctions. And it goes over the art book. And then it's, it's a pretty just, rule book too. Yeah. I mean, it has to be. It's and high it's detail. Full color. Full color. On the back, real fast too, is just a quick Reference summary guide. guide. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for the for uh, modern art here. Let's talk about four really fast recaps. Well, that was modern art. Yeah, uh, pretty cool looking game. Mm -hmm. uh, again, I, I like the mechanics, the the silent betting. Yeah, yeah, it's just it's well, well there's one the silent, of the silent betting. betting there's, yeah, there's a bunch of different variety you can do. Um, you have to also think ahead, but I also like it's a very social game. I mean, it is. Yeah, you for have sure. to outbid your opponent. You can talk to them, try to, try yeah. to weasel them away from the <laughs> buying the artwork. I'll buy that for uh, a dollar. And I'll it's buy not it a complex two. game either. Like, yeah, it, you're literally just betting money. Yeah, uh, you're trying to. I like to art. spend money all the time. So this game is perfect for me. Uh, yeah, exactly. And you're just trying to collect the art. Yeah, so exactly. It's, it's pretty cool game. Let's crunch the numbers yep. on this one real quick. 
Uh, what is the playtime on this one? It's around, I mean, it depends on the players, but it's around 60 minutes. 60 so, like, minutes? It's an hour, yeah. And we saw uh, in the box it was 14 and up. Yep. Uh, what's the uh, number of players in this one? Uh, it is 3 to 5. 3 to 5 uh, players? Which is good for a social game. I mean, 5 is a good number for that. Yeah, so. yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, price point, what's the price point? $29.99. So, All right, it's not yeah. too bad, actually. Yeah. That's a, that's a lot of high quality art for yeah. not a lot of dollars. And it's from Simon Games, they make some good stuff. Oh so. yeah. Yeah. No, we like Simon stuff, yeah. for sure. So yeah, pretty good stuff. Again, good packaging too, was pretty impressed by that. So go check this one out. Is this one brand new? Brand new stores right now. Sweet. Well, I'm Adam Harry from Bulls. I'm Evan from Dragon's Lair Comics of Fantasy. And this has been another Tabletop Spotlight. Thanks again for watching. Tabletop Spotlight brought to you by Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. Thanks for watching.